Here's what I'm going to predict, Village Church. I'm going to predict that the question of vaccines is going to become divisive in the body of Christ this year. It's going to become divisive in the body of Christ globally, in North America, in Canada, and in Village Church. Because here's what happens. People believe what they believe to a pharisaical level, and it destroys their, their heart turns. See, here's what Jesus' concern was. Make sure your heart doesn't turn cold to others and you start demonizing other people. And so what starts to happen is you have people on this side of the vaccine debate and they look at people on the other side and they say, how can you take that vaccine? Don't you understand the government's trying to control us? Don't you understand the vaccine's bad? I can't believe you're gonna actually take that. I thought you were a Christian. You're not informed. You're not as smart as me. I know certain information and you're not, a, I can't believe you're gonna do that. And then on the flip side, you have people saying, you're not gonna take the vaccine? How dare you not take the vaccine? You're not informed. I'm smarter than you. Don't you love your neighbor? Don't you love old people? Don't you want everyone to die? And we have this debate going on and there's gonna be division in the church. And my, my plea with you is don't be a grace killer. We gotta understand that, that, that questions of, of vaccines and COVID practices and all of this they're not, they're secondary questions about behavior within the church, within the body of Christ. Yes, and important. But the gospel, Paul says, 1 Corinthians 15, I, I, I'm gonna talk to you about what's of first importance, that Jesus Christ died, he rose again, that the gospel is what's center. Someone's view on vaccines or how they're gonna behave during COVID is not what's going to get them to heaven. It's not what's gonna create the new birth. And so yes, important as a secondary, thirdary implication issue, but not a gospel issue. And what I'm seeing is people who, who know far more about these things than they know about the gospel. And you could get someone to believe your side of these particular debates and still go to hell when they die. That's not what we want to see in the church. We want to see your views. Yes, love them. But you communicate them in grace and civility. This is the spirit of Christ and what he's asked us to do.